Got milk? Not anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. Good to see you, Agent Fox. Ah, Monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. <laughs> I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. That one. I'm in no mood to tickle the ivories now. No, okay. Who are you? A bit weighty for me. And you? That airline food will get you every time. That's <laughs> certainly not the kind of entrance a super spy like myself normally makes. Hmm, so this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. All right then. Guys, this is Spy Fox Dry Cereal. It's the first Spy Fox game I've made. Uh, this is also another game I played during my childhood quite a lot. Ooh, I've forgotten the code. Oh. Th that's secret base. I do remember, remember some of this game. Five 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 six seven zero five. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. Five five six. Four, five. Five, 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 six, oh. seven, zero, five. No, I'm just gonna get a pen. Where's Okay. Um, because I won't remember that. Five, 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 six, seven, zero, five. Five, five, five. Five, 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 six, seven, zero, five. Can you do that again? Five, five, five. Six seven zero five. Yeah. Okay. I'll just write that. Don't mind. Good. Alright then. Five 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 six seven zero. 
Hello, you've reached the offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Our staff is a little tied up right now, so we'll uh, have to get back to you. Was it three fives? We're rescued. I'd better try another number. Five, five, five. Yeah, it's six, seven, zero, five. Uh, hello, Bicor Mobile Command Center. Penny, there we I've go. got uh, your no, number. Ooh, what do you think of our secret base? Now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square with a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the Spy Gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good, because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachma. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. Ooh, you hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. Okay, so there's our gadgets. And there's our money. Professor Quack will fill that ah, yes, machine up with spy gadgets as soon as he arrives. So make like a doctor and have some patience. Right then, upstairs. So we need to go find this doctor guy. So you suggested. Oh. My spy watch is beeping. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the mobile command button. Will do. Spy Fox, out. Right then. So, I think by the docks this way, yeah? Okay. Anything interesting here, Angel? Oh, dead fish. Oh, my starfish. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh oh, normally I would karate chop my way right through a door, but this one seems to be made of. Here's where. Kaboom! Oh, that's a lot too fast. Oh, yeah, what a pro. Oh, one use only. The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. Let's go in. Now that's a big... There party. he is. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. <laughs> and he's dangling oh, over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Hmm, this must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. Hmm, yeah. Fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. Let's go save him. <laughs> Dirty fish. <laughs> you saved me. Thank you, Mr. Um, uh, Fox. Spy Fox. Ru 
routine rescue, really. Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need to change my pants. <laughs> You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox. All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. There were dozens of them. I fought them tooth and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body's a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese. cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers choked me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bluevine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Hi, Fox. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. That is one way to take over the world, I must hmm. admit. Sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that Oh, code. snap. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. Oh. Quack. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. Beef flavor, do you say? I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. <laughs> A duck needs his fiber. That's the X-ray gum. Right, awesome. So we got some X-ray gum. No gadget pocket. So do we have any more gadgets available? What's that? What's in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Oh, I now, remember. And then Tana. peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. Ooh. <laughs> Those duplicitous duplicators stole my idea! <gasps> Bastards. Right, so, uh, there's two gadgets anymore here? Oh, God. That's quite a lot of different gadgets. Do we need to It appears to be a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One night of vision my shoe. most ingenious inventions. <laughs> If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, 
All you do is strap the shoe onto your head, and then you can see in the dark. How illuminating. Yeah, and it has excellent arch support. That's the night vision shoe. Right. So we'll do this gun thing now, because that would get rid of it, so we're having space for all those items in our inventory. So, uh, there we go. Next we go. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. The code. Lee, I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. oh. <sighs> Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. What is that? I found the note. I'll be able Steak to disarm roast. that milky weapon of destruction with that diode. I just that, need to find what, it. Is it a wrench and stuff? Clock? I know what that is. Is that a yo yo thing? If I could find that diode, I then I'd that. be making some progress. Without that diode, I won't yep. be able to Got disarm it. the milky weapon of destruction. Found it. A key. I've got to look for that diode. William I've, the Kid I've got it. must be stopped. Do you need a key for a door? Let me make a click. Do I still have it? Do I, should I try it again? Here. Let's try it again. Hey, you wouldn't mind if I use this x-ray gum on you again, would you? I don't even know why you need gum. I find that a nice wad of cud does the trick for me. Gum makes me dizzy and I... Uh, what doesn't make it? Mr. Utterly has to take four antacid tablets when his stomachs are upset. Click. Do right click. Do middle click. It looks like I need to find that diode. Yep. Got it. Right there. Hmm. Without that diode, I won't be Enter. able to disarm the milky weapon. You know what? Okay, we know what it needs. We need the key. So. Can we go back to? Okay. Can we, can we put this back? I'm sure glad this spy gadget vending machine doesn't have a no deposit, no return policy. A proof. So we need the key then to turn it off. Um, shoe, got safe, we've got one. Oh my god. Mmm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. Huh? It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works, because it's very scientific and complicated. Trust me okay. when I say it works like a charm. And it tastes great in soup. <laughs> yeah, and this paper isn't half bad. Hmm. Is What's this the coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's the spy trap. Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin three explodes more. Very and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemy. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. Grab that, that then. One of those spy traps. The one more stop. Should we get the safe? Because we can always come back to those, I think. Now, what is this spy gadget? Oh, crap. Again? Again. Is it just a Oh, I have to listen to this again. Oh no! 
That is the cheese and safe cracker chip. It will help you crack any safe in the world. When it comes to opening safes, so this game is already taking a lot more than a puff puff for it. Oh, oh nice no, anyway. 20 minutes, they still haven't done much. They sure taste better than these blueprints. Because I remember there being a lot more. That's the cheese and safe cracker. I could have a bad memory of this, so, you know. Right, so we're set there. Let's, let's go. Some mission? What is that question mark thing? Hey. According to SpyCore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent mm. criminal tendencies. Right then, so we need to go find the missile thing, I think. Let's talk to the trinket person. I like the jar of trinkets, but I'm wondering if you have them in cans. It's uncanny that you would ask me that, because just this morning I ordered some. Unfortunately, they won't be here till next week. Sir, could I interest you in this nice looking, uh, shoot. What are they called? It has something to do with the sound seltzers make when you plop them into water. Fizz? Yes, exactly. Can I interest you in a nice fizz? Hmm. It's hey, wanna see my tattoo? That's a pretty cool tattoo. Your mother must be so proud. Alright, let's go down to the Greek cantina. Cantina? Oh, we've got a goldfish down here. To the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like for example, sugar. You just let me know, all right? Thanks, B. Secret sauce may cause drowsiness in alligators. Hmm. <laughs> Beet bliss. It smells funny. Ah, it's the tango Son, you music. You like playing the tango, do you? Oh yeah. The tango really swings you crazy, cat. Ooh. Plus, it's the only sheet music I have. The people here must really love the tango. Yeah, they do, crazy fox guy. Though they keep yelling, play something else, play something else. But hey, the tango is all I got. Right, now we have to get the sheet music for the boat later on. So let's check out what's up here. The door's locked. Ooh, what was that stuff that gets through locks? Here's where I keep my spoof. No, nope, doesn't work. Maybe I missed. Okay. Hmm. That's quite a nice little toy boat you got there. Is it yours? Oh, yes, sir. And that is why I'm standing out here at this podium on this filthy, seagull stained dock talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. So it's not your boat. No, it belongs to my boss. Pardon me, sir, but just Ooh, where do you think you're going? Okay. On board, sir. You are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you yeah. should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. Oh, snap! I can gather information about the deck party with this. Ooh. Should, should we ask them about the deck party? That's what that's for. I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. Uh-huh. Here's where I keep my 
I can't copy the invitation while he's looking right at me. So maybe I wonder what it would be like to steer a ship with one of those. Buy it, and you may have a hands-on experience. Ooh. I like the jar of trinkets, but I'm wondering if you have them in cans. It's uncanny that you would ask me that, because just this Can morning I ordered some. Unfortunately, they won't be here till next week. Should we... How much for the Fez? As it turns out, this Fez isn't for sale, sir. This is our floor model. In fact, it's been on the floor several times, and we have a dirty floor. Ooh. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, there are 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. Hmm. Right. Can we, we need to distract My him? My needs a little direction right now. I think I'll buy that steering wheel. Let me wrap that up for you. Oh, oh, ah. oh! Ah. Go! Go, go, Spy Fox, go! Yeah! Duplicate. Oh, forget it. Oh, I almost forgot. This is not just the local trinket emporium. It is also this island's maritime museum, and I'm not allowed to let oh. anyone touch the exhibits. Okay. Awesome. So we have ourselves a ticket to get on the boat. Should we get in the boat then? Where did my mouse go? Uh, mouse? Okay, there we go. I just kind of lost my mouse on the screen. So, let's get that ticket, give it to him. Not you again! How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! A nerve or something. You think they would. Oh, yeah, slam! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Oh, sir, we are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How Yay. gracious of you. What a weasel. I trust you will have an enjoyable visit. Yep. And weasel. if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. But of course. Right, on the boat we go. So, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. We are. Can we can we grab that? Excuse me, but you're in my way here. Excuse me, I thought I left something here. Wait, should we wait for him afterwards? Right, go. Yes. I've never been involved in a waltz napping before. Ooh. Right, we can get that to the person downstairs. Oh, it's clear. Hello. You must be. Russian Blue, noted socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadweight. My name's Fox, Spy Fox. Would you care to dance, Miss Blue? I would love to, Mr. Fox. But there is only one dance on this planet I will dance to, and that is tango. the tango. I do remember. I love the tango. Oh, do you know why I love the tango, Mr. Fox? That funky beat? Because it takes two to tango. Interesting. Whoa. I've never done the math on that. Whoa. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> right then. I should we... gather information about Russian blue with this. We'll investigate the boat a little bit more. Oh. Once more. 
Oh! There's nothing up there of interest. Um, should we ask this guy about him? Tell me about Russian Blue, Maestro. She throws a party like none other. I hear that a good tango puts a spell over her, too. What do you mean? Oh, it's all the rumors, you see. This crowd prefers a waltz anyway. I see. Thank you, sir. It would be very interesting to track Russian Blue's movements. Maybe Monkey Penny has something up her sleeve. Maybe she does. Should we call her? Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. Have you found William the Kid's secret fortress yet? Not yet. Have you been able to find any more clues on the Spy Core computer? Not yet. Let's keep snooping around. I'm sure we'll find something. I guess we have to go see it personally. Should we ask this guy about him? What do you know about Ms. Russian Blue, if I may ask? We maintain a strictly professional relationship. She's my employer, you see? Yes, I realize that. What are her hobbies? Of course, there's always the tango, her passion in life. So pretty much the tango. I, I think he's pointing us about that tracking tango. Russian blues movement. So, uh, let's go sell that tango, and then I think I'll call it a quits in this video. To him. Swap. Hey, what would you think about playing something a little slower for a change? Like I told you, man, I would if I could. So, unless you've got some new sheet music for me, the tango extravaganza continues. Would you trade me some of your tango music for some of this waltz music? Would I? I've been dying for some new tunes. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you, Mr. Too Cool for a Foxy White Suit Jacket Guy. You are beautiful, baby. Thank Don't you. go changing. Nah. Give this gentle fox a Brussels sprout soda and put it on my tab of Rooney, sweet. You don't have a tab, Johnny. Too bad. Mm. All right, let's go put the tango music on. God, oh, this is sweet. Do you think we can do it two videos? Let's go. up. Right then, so we'll stop it. Ooh. <laughs> I think we're going to stop it here. And we'll be back. Where we'll begin to do the tango. Have a good one, guys.